Okay, so once you've started your tail braid and you've got the plait to the thickness or the size, the width that you want it to be, the next level, once you know how to braid a tail and you sort of got that down pat, the next kind of level, stage two of tail braiding is, it, is one extra little trick that we can add in um, to keep the tail braid and that's dropping the hair. Now I promised this video ages ago and I had people asking and I have to admit, I got a little bit busy and I forgot about it and I just got reminded by a friend the other day so I thought oh, I should probably do this video for you guys. So you start off and you braid like you do a tail braid, picking up hair as you go and now we get to the stage that we want to keep the plait the same size all the way down. So we need to, as we, if we keep picking up hair and we don't drop any hair, then um, the braid's obviously gonna get bigger. So we need a way to drop the hair as well. So this is the way that I do it because of the it works best for me because of the way I hold my fingers. Um, you might have a different technique if you hold the hair a little bit differently. So what I've done now, so I've just, I've moved the outside plait, I've done the plait movement. So I've gone from the left into the middle now I'm going to get some of those hairs and take them back out of that section before I pick up some hair and add it to the middle. And then with this sex technique, we can also see how this one's got a little bit loose with the, with, um, the plaiting. So what I can now do is tighten that one with that, pulling this thread here because that hair there, section there is for that plait before I do the changeover. So now outside to middle, take some hairs out, pick up some hairs, add it to the middle. Outside to middle, take out some hairs, pick up some hair, add it to the middle. Oh, I want that a bit tighter. Outside to middle, drop some hair, pick up some hair, add it to the middle. So same thing, so drop the hair, Pick up some hair, add it to the middle. That movement, drop some hair, pick up some hair, add it to the middle. Now before anyone bothers to say it, yes, I washed my hands before this. I actually went and did it, especially because I've had People make comments about how dirty my hands are. So yes, I wash my hands. Yes, I also actually washed this horse's tail yesterday with the grand plans of doing this video. And yet overnight and all the rest of it, as happens, rolling in dusty paddocks that we have here in WA, or at least at my place, he's just, he's still got dusty and dirty. So my fingers are no longer clean. But as you can see, just take your time. You can see how the plait is staying the same size because I'm dropping hair before I pick up hair. Okay, so I've braided down as far as I want to braid. This is the end of his doctors here with my thumb is. So I braided down a nice distance. And now there's a couple of different ways you can finish off a braid, tail braid. Um, in my first video, teaching you how to do a tail braid, I did the plait and the loop, showing you how to do the loop. Um, another option is just to put a band right at the top here at the very end of the braid. But another way, if you don't want to loop, but you don't want to be able to see the band, there's another option. So what I've done is I plaited down a distance and popped a band on. Now the reason I've got one down here is see how this is loosened a little bit. I find I often end up loosening the braid, the plait a little bit as I'm trying to hold it and get a band on at the same time. So I braided it down probably an extra three or four centimetres that I needed to. And then, then I popped a second band on where I actually want the band to be. So that band's there. So now I'm just going to use a thread cutter to cut that band off. Now we've got this band where we need it. Just here. So now what I'm going to do is just unplaque that hair. No, it shows. Good boy. You got a fly. You got a fly. Good boy. So now what I'm going to do is grab a second band and I'm going to fold the tail over like this, just like we did in the previous plaiting video. So it's folded up the front like that. See? So it's now looped. So now I can fold that up, tuck that up into the end of the braid 
And now, then I would just sew backwards and forwards through there with some plaiting thread. So, just got a needle and thread. I'm just gonna sew backwards and forwards through the end there to secure that within the braid. tricky trying to do it around a camera and make sure you guys can see but basically just go backwards and forwards through the base like that a few times till you're happy that it's nice and secure I'd probably do a couple more than that and then you simply trim it off and I've got my other scissors out of the way so I'll just use those guys for now it's always easy if you have a while you're doing the end bit there if you have a clip that holds the rest of the hair out of the way so there you've got a nice beautiful tail braid that comes down and finishes it all hangs in and so now what I would do to finish this braid is I will just put some hair wax I use the NTR sculpting stick and I'll sculpt around there you go and I'll just rub that around the edges on each side rub it around and then I'll pop a tail bandage around the tail and that will just stick down any of those little flyaway hairs.